All right, Steve. Yep. Show us your new standbaggers. Okay, these are uh, these are the three model six, model eight, and model thirteen. You can see the uh, the difference in size. So let's uh, for now look at the model eight, uh, which is what you were showing us earlier. And um, this is the new handle, and this is uh, made out of uh, really durable fabric. It's the same fabric the bag is made out of. My first go around, the first. Uh, set of standbaggers, I, I used a, uh, a different type of fabric and it did not work well, but this has been fantastic. So uh, the Model 8, which we're looking at right here, has six pockets and they're each designed to hold uh, one stand or two, two umbrellas. And um, on oh, the a little bit bigger flap. Yeah, it could be a bigger flap. It looks like a little bit bigger flap, yeah. And uh, so I've been real happy with them. So now these these uh, pockets are slightly padded, right? A little bit of padding yeah. in them. Yes, yes. Um, what what I did, and and there's really no logical reason I, other than the fact I like it and, and it works. This is uh, this is a nylon. It's the same thing like you'd have on the inside of a coat. Uh, it's a uh, nylon and it's padded fabric, and it it's on inside of all the. The pockets, so there is some padding. It's not like a heavy-duty, thick foam, sure, but it's enough to keep things from scratching. And what I like about doing it this way is like there's different types of eight-foot stands. Some of them have the real small tops, and some of them have a, have the larger tops. And so, what I do is I, you know, you're able to know where you keep what what type of stand and where the umbrellas are. So it just makes uh, makes yeah. for uh, a little better organization and a little quicker access to your equipment. Well, I think that's the whole key to these things is organization. Yeah. Uh, I think I was telling you, I, I, I lay it out flat before I leave a, a session. Because if it's flat and there's not a lump, <laughs> I've, you know, you're, I'm, you're not, missing. I'm missing something. Yeah. So we, yeah. we're real careful about it. So. Yeah. Let me show nice. you real quick. I'll show you the, the Model 6. And uh, this is a lot of people nowadays use real small stands. And, and this is a roll-up bag that holds uh, four stands, or you can put umbrellas in the pocket. So, yeah, but you could put a stand and an umbrella in each one of those pockets, uh, if it's you, a small enough umbrella. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That's a nice kit. So, and actually, here, let me, let's just transition, if you don't mind, to, uh, sure. to the, uh, the grab-and-go. So this is a grab-and-go Model 6, and uh, here, this pocket, you can keep a strobe in. I use SB 800s, and so uh, I keep them in the, ca in the case that they came in, and then put the case in the pocket, which is padded with about quarter-inch uh, foam on uh, inside and outside. I like, how, I like how they lock down, too. Yeah. They're not going to pop out of there. No, no, these are really heavy-duty. They're stealth warrior. That's what they're called, buckles. And... Um, and then these come with an umbrella sack like this that hold uh, two umbrellas. It's designed to hold two umbrellas. And then oh, here's my stand. I already took it out. You can put uh, six foot, two six-foot stands in there, and they're designed to have uh, the umbrella heads left on so that you can get to location, just pop it out, set your umbrellas up, get your strobes, and you've got everything you need right there for a small shoot. That's very cool. I like it. It's, everything's kept uh, so separate from each other. The umbrellas aren't going to be banging around with the, the stands and the, the strobes are sticking out on the outside. And in a, in a case where you don't need the stand and the umbrella, you can just grab the strobe. Yeah, absolutely. So, absolutely. nice and, design. And over the shoulder, it's got, a, uh, it's got a pad here. It's not so much designed for weight, but there, it's a non-slip. So you can put it on your shoulder and, and it doesn't slip off. That's the plan. Excellent. For the small strobe shooter, this is a, a great little kit. Good job. Good job on that. Thank you. And then the, uh, we won't unroll the granddaddy. What's the big the big guy over here? What's it hold? It, uh, it's uh, for 13 foot stands. Uh, actually, real quick, I'll show it to you. And the nice thing about this bag, which, is, which I've used uh, a lot, is is that uh, you could put two eight-foot stands in a pocket or one 13-foot stand. So here, here's the nylon. Yep. 
Wow. And then you could fit two eight foot stands in here or one thirteen. So, so, so there's five pockets, and you figure you, you can carry a lot of stuff in this bag. Yeah, this thing, this one, get real heavy. Yeah, yeah, it gets heavy. You betcha. <laughs> But that's what assistance that's, is made for. <laughs> that's, that's why beginning photographers were invented. Yeah, that's right. To carry our stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's educational. That's right. <laughs> you, you, you want to shoot the good stuff, you got to carry the big stuff. There you there go. There you go. I love it. This is great stuff, Steve. I appreciate you uh, coming down and, and sharing this with the Lighting Essentials crew because I know a lot of us need ways to you know get our stuff around and mixing it between carrying the big kits. Sure. And uh, and the little kits. This just gives us a great uh, a great way to go. Thank Thanks, you. man. I appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me.